Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So you are meeting me in the car today because I am about to head into London to go and visit the most amazing hair salon. I'm going to visit Mimi and I'm going to have a tour of her amazing salon in Notting Hill and she's going to be doing my hair as well and we're going to ask her a couple of questions just to understand how a black woman from west africa who lived in france moved to london and has done something amazing that many people in england in london have not yet done opening a luxury salon in the heart of Notting Hill and I'm so excited to bring you guys on the journey so you can meet the founder of Mimi et Mina. I am actually back in my old stomping ground and it's so 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 lovely to actually be back here and yeah they've got a Granger & Co a show I'm gonna go and check out some shops and maybe go into Diptyque as well. <music> Right, I've had a browse around my old stomping ground. I even bought something from Diptyque. And now we're gonna go and visit Mimi in her amazing, amazing salon. And I'm so, so excited to see her and see the salon and get my hair done. <music> Mimi the salon. Oh, you always look effortless. They need to have it. They need to have a look at you. Um, oh my god, look at her. Hi everyone. Guys, look at that. I'm in love with your <laughs> salon, Mimi. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh. Thank I cannot you. wait to get my hair done, you guys. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna be a new woman. Yes, <laughs> I'm gonna be a new woman. It's, gonna look good. it's a nice look for it autumn. Winter, actually, the colors, yeah, the color is really nice. I'm ready for autumn now. Look at that! Wow! <gasps> look at this color! Oh Yay. my! So nice! Gosh! all the time i started wigs late but my leave out broke to this mini and i was like no i need to wear wigs now <laughs> and now my leave out is here now and i'm like what <laughs> Mimi has done a blunt cut. Yeah. Yeah, the length. <laughs> Mimi has done a blunt cut and now we're going to style, style. it. But, oh, the colour suits me. Oh, I'm gonna be so annoying now. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like this on Instagram. Do you want <laughs> waves that are like what you normally have, or do you want waves that are like more I just had a blow dry? Oh, I've never had a that blow one, dry look before. Okay, I can do that one, but that one will drop quicker. Okay. So you would just have to curl it. Curl again. it again. Okay. But that one is, to be really honest, my favorite. So do you enjoy doing hair now? Maybe? I love it. Yeah. I Good. love it. I do session styling as well. Mm -hmm. I love do, because I do many different things. Yes. Look what Mimi has done to me. I'm in love. I literally feel like I've had a blow dry. It's a bounce that I never get. <laughs> so I, I just love it. And I love the like little highlights. And it ju it's just really nice. It's not too strong. It's just got it's a nice like subtle. Chic. Some colors are tacky. Let's this is not tacky. This is very chic. It's very, very like you know i'm not trying too hard exactly you never want to try up too like this i did i mean i actually woke up like this thank <laughs> you <Isn't it? laughs> of course my darling of course of mimi's course. hands are just amazing so you can just oh, wear this i love this color yeah at night. No Seems machine. Like the colours and the branding, it's a bit of me, I love pink. And it's like a nice peachy pink. It's so it's nice. A, yeah, it is. It's so pretty. Oh, you look fabulous. You. So thank you. I do. And it's because so of you, Mimi. So I, I literally, you. I'm not saying it to say it. It really suits you. Is this my bag? Yeah. Thank you. It really, really suits you. I'm glad. Mimi, I'm in love. You went for this. Oh, this so is my I. signature colour. 
And what is it called? Balayage. Signature, signature balayage. Well, there you have it, you guys. Yeah. Come and ask for the signature <laughs> balayage at Mimi's salon in Notting Hill. It's honestly like, I don't know how you leave here all the time. You guys are going to want to know a bit more about Mimi and how she's done this. So let's find a nice spot, Mimi. Yeah, let's I know exactly it. where spot. You know where you want to go. Sure. Okay. Mimi, first of all, thank you so much for having me here. Of course, I my feel pleasure. really special. My pleasure. And I look special. You look amazing. I look, I look rich. I'm you like make me look rich. <laughs> Jazzy guys, she makes people look rich, but you do have also got rich clients. Yes, yes, a few. <laughs> quite a few. So I wanted to bring Mimi on, you guys. I didn't just want to show you my hair, but I wanted you to see the person behind this immaculate, amazing brand and business. Thank you. She is stunning. She is a boss, and Thank I, you. I'm so inspired by you. I'm inspired by you. No. Inspired by you. Oh, you. I was saying to Mimi, you know, I grew up around here. Yes. This is an area, Notting Hill, that I would come here all the time with my mom and family. And to see someone like me having a thriving business yeah. in the heart of Notting Hill. That's wow. Nice. I'm literally That's screaming nice. about it. My mom's yeah. coming here next month. She's I excited. can't wait to welcome her. Yeah. I can't wait to welcome her. I just wanted a place for us, a place where we feel welcome. Yes. And a place where we feel pampered and taken care of because I just felt like the experience of going to a half hour hair salon was like a painful experience. Yeah, it's almost like and you're doing them a favor by yes, like coming in. Yes, and yeah. they make you wait and yeah. you know, you a lot by. of money because you're buying a wig. Exactly. So I was just like, no, we need a place where we feel welcome yes. and we can take care of ourselves, oh, ourselves and also do great hair. Amazing. And how did this even start? So it started in my mind, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur, I yeah, studied business amazing. Uh, and it started in my mind I wanted to have like a spa, I okay. wanted to have all of it, I wanted like five times bigger than this, I wanted to do nails, well, well never say never, yes, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do nails, I wanted to do massages, I wanted to offer everything, everything. and okay. um, I just realized that actually what I needed to offer is a hair salon where you can be taken care of because there yeah. were nothing, my dream was to actually offer black women a place mm -hmm. where they can feel great. Amazing. And then I started thinking about it. The more I was thinking about it, the more it made sense to yeah. me that that was my this path. This is the right, yeah. So I finished my studies and 10, 15 years ago, 15 years ago, if you told me, if you told me I would be a hairstylist, yeah. I would say no, no, because I had no idea. I was studying business and I thought I would do business, have yeah. my product, yeah. but I never thought I would be actually a hairstylist. So when I finished my study and I moved to London, I learned how to do hair. That's what I was going to ask you stuff. because that's something that I learned. I found so fascinating is mm -hmm. that Mimi didn't just open a business and say, right, let me employ people to do it. Yeah. You actually said, okay, I need to learn my business. I need to learn. Yeah. yeah. But I learned on the case. At the beginning, mm -hmm. I had stylists and then what happened is I realized that in order for you to have a great business and run a great business, you need to understand your business. Yeah. You know, it's every like element. You, every element. Yes. It's like you, you are in property. You yeah. understand property. You understand yeah. how it works. So you can talk to people about yes. it. Yes. And actually make, you know, sense to people so who people want in that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And also, also what you're doing today, giving your expertise out there to people who want to be uh, uh, home owners. Home owners. So yeah. for me, it was also important that I actually understand and understand like what my industry is. Is and, yeah, and that's that so was important. really really good for me to go to school and just learn. And today we're trying to make it a better business, mm -hmm. have the salon, and also have those gorgeous oh, wigs on my wigs, you uh, guys, which yeah. is launching soon. Yes, mm -hmm. it's launching very very amazing. Very soon. Amazing. Um, and we are still working on what we're gonna do. Yeah. But yeah, you guys It's gonna be to good. You guys keep an out because I will definitely be there. <laughs> Yay! I will be there. My hair looks so good. Mimi, I can't sun, stop watching I her because I'm I just look. like her hair looks so the good. Sun. Oh my god. Oh, oh take, my god. We need to do like we're gonna take it. We're gonna have a photo shoot today. <laughs> we have to. And yes. the sun's shining the sun is as well. Coming up. Oh my gosh, Mimi, you're amazing. Thank and you, you are many too. people will say, Okay, I'm hearing her accent. Yes. Mimi, and also, I think a lot of British people we think, oh, if someone has a French accent or something, they might be rich. Yeah. Do they come from money, etc.? Yeah. Tell us about why. Your that, why? Why? I don't know. Why? It just comes. 
comes across that way. Like, okay. if you're French and you're in the UK, first of all, why? Because <laughs> France seems amazing to us. So if you've come here, maybe it's because you're just so rich and it's like, I fancy living in the UK for a little bit, right? Okay. It's just the idea we have. Really because have. why would people leave France yeah. for here? Um, I was I grew up in Africa. Yeah. So my dad was head of water in Burkina Faso. Wow. So I went to great school. Amazing. I had great grades. Amazing. Uh, I went to boarding school as well in Burkina Faso. Okay. I hated it. Hated it. Hated it. Hated it. And then when I was 18, I moved from Burkina Faso to come here and study. And from the moment I moved to Burkina Faso and I came here, I, I started studying and I just realized that the money my parents were sending me to help me with my study, yeah. it, it was just a lot of money from Africa. And but then when it comes yeah. here, it was just so little. Yeah. So I decided just to take my life in yes. hand. Yes. So I decided to start going to work and doing any work. So I was working as... as like uh, in a beauty shop where you sell oh, yeah. perfume yeah. and makeup and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And I think from 18 when you start working and doing all those things, you learn so much learn and so you discover much. yourself as yeah. well. You and I started discovering heart. that I wanted more and I wanted to finish my study and I wanted to be an entrepreneur and that's how my journey my journey began yeah. and um, I always had great opportunities okay uh, because I had great uh, amazing grades yeah, yeah yeah so yeah. what happened is when I finished my bachelor degree I work at Louis Vuitton as a okay. manager okay. and then when I finished at Louis Vuitton I went to work for a French company for a luxury of hospitality okay so I did that for one and a half years where I learned and then after that, I was bored of my position. And I was like, I want to move. I want to yeah. do something else. And I was like, where am I going to go? Because I was in Switz between Switzerland and France. Okay. Right? And, and then I decided that I wanted to go in London because I didn't speak English. One thing, one thing you need to know about French yes. people, they don't speak good English. No, no, and they don't want to, right? They don't want like, to. Why no. should I try and learn yes. English? No. So, um, my English was bad. So I was like, that would be great. I would go there. And then if the experience doesn't work out, I can always go back to France. Yeah. At least I would learn You've it. You tried and you always learn exactly. something. And yeah. then I moved to London. And I was like, why have I been waiting to move here? This is my place. This is I think it. this city suits me so well. Mm. And I had saving back then, so yeah. I used all my saving. I had just to plan her A and I put all my money into this shop. Amazing. To grow what I wanted to grow. And I'm really glad I did it because over the last six yeah. years I've had it. I've learned so much, I've grown and the business, the brand is growing as well. So yes. we are really, really happy. No, the, the brand is amazing. Thank I see you. it all over Instagram. You guys have to Thank follow you. Mimi and the salon on Instagram because there's always yeah. something, if it's not hair, if it's not your YouTube channel. <laughs> so yes. I know many of you will have a lot of questions to understand more about Mimi and just see a day in her life. She has all of that on her YouTube channel. Yeah. So it's on the screen, it's down below and I just need you guys to follow this boss i'm Thank so you. in you awe of you <laughs> and this sounds amazing you know i said to her look i want to do an event here i just yeah I we have to we need to plan you we just need, need to, to plan tell it. me when you want to do okay. it and okay and we plan it and we make sure that you know uh everything is on point for the evening i mean uh Definitely, I'm gonna do an event here. I think we so need much to do that. I think we, it would be nice to carry this conversation yeah. on. We can have like a women's event, you know, yeah. good I conversation. We can get I like love. a little like catering, something yeah. small, yeah. something yeah. nice, yeah. and it yeah. can just be chats, good yeah. vibes. I, I, I just really think we should do it. It should be just do it. Okay, we're going, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. If she cut, if you cut this part. <laughs> She can't cut this part. This part has to be it's on the video. It's gonna be in the video. So no. we're doing an event. We are. And we're doing we love event. you guys to come as well. And we will let you know all of the details once we organize it. But it's happening. Yeah. Because it it's, it's gonna be amazing. It is. It is. It's gonna be amazing. It is. It is. It's gonna be amazing. I'm, I'm so excited. excited. I am too. I am. Well, thank you for sitting thank down. You. I know we're hungry, we're so coming. we're gonna go. We're gonna go and have lunch. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're liking my gorgeous hair Mimi Mimi can you show them yours as well because yes this is also Mimi's this is hair Mimi. okay, okay. as well wow so very versatile style for everybody the quality is amazing yeah the bounce the service the bounce. it's always bouncy bouncy the bouncy service, it's hair. everything is amazing I had the best day so far and it's still really early so we're gonna go have lunch now 
and thank you guys for watching all of mimi's details are going to be in the description <laughs> check her out follow her on instagram youtube everything and the salon and come here so you can get your a star treatment asap bye bye oh my god that was <laughs> nice it was yeah. cool. exactly look at the queen she just had her hair done look Hello. at that guys you look so chic you look so chic. So nice. Effortlessly so chic. I'm in love. Thank you.